G'day, I'm Mr. Code. Today we're going to check out how to build and code an xDrive driving base using VEX V5. But the principles can be adopted to any robotic system. Be sure to stick around to learn how to build and code this ultra mobile driving base. Now let's talk about the benefits of the xDrive. First off, this base is one of the most highly mobile driving bases in competition, able to move in any direction and shift position quickly. And this is a great ability to have if you have a few obstacles and rely on fast, accurate movement. Being able to drive in all directions is a significant advantage in most robotics games. And the xDrive is lighter and faster than its cousin, the Mechanum Drive, and much more responsive than a Swerve Drive. However, the drawback is that the xDrive has much less traction than other solutions. So if it's traction that you're after, then be sure to check out our previous video on tank treads. To build this xDrive, you will need several sets of 45 degree gussets. By keeping all the Omni wheels at 45 degrees, you will ensure that the base moves in all directions with the same amount of power. The outer channel and the inner channel sandwiches the Omni wheels into place, keeping the wheels protected from impacts while maintaining stability of the driving base. Making sure that the base is stable is a big priority with the xDrive because even a slight change to the wheels angles can affect the accuracy of the drive. And you can use shoulder screws like these to fix the frames into place and reduce the amount of movement between the structural parts. If you're enjoying this video, then please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. I plan to make lots of robotics tutorials just like these, and it is your support that keeps me going. So I thank you in advance. Once the driving base is built, it is time to do the code. And first you will need to correctly set your motors to the forward left, forward right, rear left, and rear right motors. So let's have a look at the code that I have made. So I am using the Xcode V5, uh, sorry, uh, the Vexcode V5 uh, program. So you can see that my motors are arranged like this. So the forward right motor is on the number one port. The rear right motor is on number two port. Forward left is on three and rear left is on four. You will need to test your motors to make sure that your robot is working properly. So you can write a simple program like this, um, like this little bit of code here to spin all the motors forward for one second and then to stop all the motors. This should make it so that the robot will move forward a short distance. Now, if any of the motors are spinning the wrong way, you will need to reverse the direction of the motors. And if you built your robot the same way that I have built it, then the right hand side motors will all need to be reversed. So you'll see on my forward right motor, it is reversed, the rear right motor is reversed, but then the forward left motor is normal and the forward, uh, sorry, the rear left motor is also normal. Once that's set up, it's time to add the, uh, the controller and also a radio onto your robot to start our driver code. So on your controller, you don't have to set any, uh, any buttons uh, at the beginning. You just add the controller and then we're going to um, do our driving blocks. And here we have our driving code on the screen. You can see we have a forever loop where we are uh, adjusting the uh, controller positions, the X and Y axis on both the thumbsticks uh, to control the different wheels movements. Uh, this is exactly the same as drone movement. So the right stick controls the forward, back, left and right motion of the robot, whilst the left stick controls the yaw angle of the robot. The code is on the screen, but you can also download it from my GitHub link below so that you can avoid any mistakes with those pluses and minus signs. My Robotics Center Creator Academy is dedicated to teaching kids about coding and robotics. In fact, this driving base was built by our robotics students. So if you're in Australia, why not visit us in Eastwood or Chatswood to see how we can support your child or school robotics team. Visit our website at www.creatoracademy.au. 
That's it from me today. If you have any suggestions on which driving base I should do next, then please write it in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.